In this video, we will learn how to solve simple numerical problems based on Pascal's law and hydraulic machines. So let's look at the first problem. In a hydraulic machine, a force of 2 Newton is applied on a piston of cross-sectional area 10 cm square. What force is obtained on its piston of cross-sectional area 1000 cm square? So here, F1 is 2 Newton, A1 is 10 cm square, A2 is 1000 cm square and we need to find out F2. So, we know the formula F2 equals F1 upon A1 multiplied by A2. Now, here both the areas have been given in centimeter square. And since we are going to use these areas in the numerator and the denominator respectively, we are not going to convert any of these areas because they are simply going to cancel out. So when we replace the values in this formula, we get F2 as 200 Newton. Now let's look at another problem. In a hydraulic machine, the cross-sectional area of the two pistons are in the ratio 1 is to 10. What force is needed on the narrow piston to overcome a force of 5000 Newton on the wider piston? Now here, F2 is 5000 Newton and we have not been given the cross-sectional areas of the two pistons. However, we have been provided with the ratio of the cross-sectional areas and that is 1 is to 10. And we need to find out the input force F1. We know that F1 upon F2 is equal to A1 upon A2 and making F1 the subject and replacing the values, we get F1 as 500 Newton. Now let's look at another problem. In a hydraulic machine, the cross-sectional area of the two pistons is in the ratio of 1 is to 25. What is the mechanical advantage of the machine? And how much weight in kgf will an effort of 40 Newton lift? So here, the ratio of the cross-sectional areas A1 upon A2 is equal to 1 upon 25. And we need to find out the mechanical advantage first. So we know the formula for mechanical advantage and that is F2 upon F1. But we know that F2 upon F1 is equal to A2 upon A1. Now we have been given the ratio A1 upon A2. So we will use the reciprocal of A1 upon A2 that is 25 upon 1. And we get the mechanical advantage as 25. Now from the above formula of mechanical advantage, if we make F2 as the subject, then F2 would be equal to MA multiplied by F1. MA is 25, F1 is 40 Newton, so we get F2 as 1000 Newton. However, we have to get the weight in kgf. So 1000 Newton is equal to 100 kgf since 1 kgf is equal to 10 Newton. Now let's look at another problem. A force of 50 kgf is applied to the smaller piston of a hydraulic machine. Find the weight lifted by the larger piston if the diameters of the pistons are 5 cm and 25 cm respectively. So here the input force F1 is 50 kgf. The diameter of the smaller piston is 5 cm and the diameter of the larger piston is 25 cm. We need to find out F2. Now we know that F2 upon F1 is equal to D2 square upon D1 square. And therefore, by making F2 as a subject and replacing the values, we get F2 as 1250 kgf. And now let's look at just one more problem. The ratio of diameters of the press plunger and the pump plunger of a hydraulic machine is 1 is to 15. Calculate the effort required to lift a load of 4500 kgf in SI units. 
Now here, instead of the smaller piston and the larger piston, the terms press plunger and the pump plunger are used. So don't get confused. The output force F2 is 4500 kgf. D1 upon D2, the ratio of the diameters is 1 is to 15. And we need to find out the effort, which is nothing but the input force F1. So, we use the formula F1 upon F2 is equal to D1 upon D2 whole square. Make F1 the subject and replace the values. We get F1 as 20 kgf, which is equal to 200 newton. So that's all in this video. In the next video, we will learn the topic atmospheric pressure.